So a few years ago, my wife and I moved to Portland, Oregon to be a part of a, a church plant there. And we had just had a really difficult time raising support. We were struggling financially, like to start out with. And so when we were there, I remember one night, one, one, one night we had visitors coming in from out of town and <laughs> we looked through our whole house to find money to buy toilet paper because we were out of toilet paper. And that's something that you probably want to have when uh, you, know, you have visitors coming into town. So uh, we go down to the grocery store and we walk down to the toilet paper aisle. And Teresa is counting the change in her hand. And she looks at the price tag and she looks at her hand. And we don't have enough for one roll of toilet paper. It was just a really intense season for us. And, and uh, we would have little miracles here and there. Like one time we found $100 in our, uh, in our refrigerator that one of our friends had put there. And, other times people would just give us little gifts here and there. But one day I felt like Jesus said to me, I was hanging out with a friend of mine that was staunchly atheist, the most like agnostic, fl flippant uh, guy I've ever met concerning God and eternity and all that stuff. And uh, when I was with him, I just felt like I heard Jesus say, Billy, I'm gonna give you $10,000 one day. I was like, wow, that's really random. I wasn't praying about that, but I really heard God say it like almost audibly to me. I'm gonna just give you $10,000. And I share with my friend, I'm like, look, I know this sounds weird, but I felt like I just heard Jesus say he's going to give me $10,000 one day. And he's like, dude, with you, he, it probably will happen, you know, <laughs> I don't know. And so we, uh, I had kind of, I told Teresa, but that's it. Uh, and about six months later, when I'd almost forgotten about it, I get this call from our accountant uh, saying, hey, someone anonymously just gave you $10,000. Uh, where, what, what should we do with it? I was like, Oh my gosh, are you serious? And I actually was with my friend, the same guy, soon afterwards, and I got to share that story with him. Uh, apart from like the joy and the tears that Teresa and I were going through, just God's miraculous provision. Um, he was so impacted, uh, and I believe that's one of the many stories that led to him eventually giving his life to Jesus and of winning our hearts uh, at a deeper level as far as trusting God for his provision for our lives.